Today we're going to be walking through sequencing the Pixel to AC3 board from Experience Lights. Now a Pixel to AC3 is very, very simple in that it gets its power and its data from your Pixel line. So all you need to do is plug in a Pixel and the, uh, excuse me, a Pixel pigtail and the Pixel to AC3 behaves like a Pixel, meaning it has three outputs, one, two, and three, and a pixel has three outputs, red, green, and blue. So according to your sequencer X lights, the pixel to AC3 behaves exactly like a pixel would, but instead of dimming red, green, and blue values in a pixel, uh, it will dim up and down three AC outputs. So it's very easy to model. Uh, typically what I tell people to do is use what's called the channel block. It is the third icon here in X lights. And a channel block um, is different than a pixel in that each dot or node is, is one channel. It is not three. Um, when you do a single line, uh, you say, okay, 50 nodes. If I change this to one, you would see that there's only one node. Now this has three individual channels, red, green, and blue. We want to control those individual channels. So instead of showing a string of one, we're going to use this channel block. Now this channel block is going to ask how many channels, and we're gonna say this is three channels, and we're gonna just increase the pixel size here just so it's easier to see. There we go. And we're gonna name this pixel to AC3, perfect. And that is it. We have now modeled a pixel to AC3 with a channel block, channel one, channel two, and channel three. So let's take it into the sequencer. We're gonna do an animation, 40 frames a second, all models, here we go. So as we're building our sequence, we can now individually control each output. So we can say strand one, we're going to uh, do a brightness ramp. So start at zero, ramp up to 100%. That's going to ramp the output one. We do something here. We're going to ramp output two, output three. So you can see that it is dimming just one channel. If we wanted to take this a step further and be a little bit more specific about what we're dimming, we could come in here and uh, actually name our strands. So you can click here on the strands. We can say, okay, on output one, um, I actually have a, a deer. And on output two, I have a wreath. And output three, I have a bubble machine. And we actually did this on our show. But there we go, all right. So go ahead and save that. And then typically you have to close and reopen and then boom, there we have it. So there's our deer, there's our wreath, and there's our bubble machine. Let's take this a step further. What if we actually wanna visually see what we're dimming. Well, there's actually this model called a image model. So I'm gonna click on that and we're gonna just draw a nice big image here and we're gonna do a deer because that's what we had on output one. All right. And then I'm gonna do another pixel model, excuse me, an image model. And on this one, we're gonna have a wreath to signify that's what's hooked up to number two. And then number three, which is going to be our bubble machine. And this is actually our exact bubble machine that we used, um, which we really like, the entire bubble machine. And we just wanted to be able to turn on the bubble machine with the sequence. So um, right now you can tell, see that this start channel is after the pixel to AC3. We want this to overlap. Okay, so we're gonna do a start channel of start of model AC3. And then it's gonna be on start channel one. So it's gonna overlap and that's okay. So the next one, image, start channel, we're gonna say start of model, but we're gonna say start channel two. And then we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna do start of model, oh, pixel to AC3, start channel three. And actually this one we did wrong, so we're gonna change this back to pixel to AC3. All right, perfect. So 
If we look up here, we can see that our pixel to AC3 has um, uh, three nodes uh, and it starts on channel one. And there we go. So we can see our end channel here. Uh, so it starts on channel one, ends on channel three. That's exactly what we want. Um, we have our first image here, which we're going to just call gear. Um, and that is saying that it is on start channel one and channel one. Easy. And this guy here, leaf, is start channel two and channel two. And bubble machine, start channel three and channel three. All right, great. So if we come over here, we're going to create a new sequence. We're going to go animation, 40 frames a second, all models, great. Now we have our pixel to AC3 with the individuals, but we also have these models up here. So if we didn't want to drill down, we um, can actually have these uh, at the root level. So we can, again, do an on effect here and fade from off to on. Actually, you don't want to do that on the bubble machine. It's a bad idea. Uh, bubble machine, you just want to turn on or off because that's a, that's a fan motor, uh, blower. So you don't want to fade that. You just want to turn that on and off. So this is fading up the wreath. Now you'll notice it's not turning all the way off. That's not what I want. I want to be able to be hidden. So if you see off brightness is uh, 80%, we want off brightness to be zero, zero, zero. You might not want that, but I want that. That way, when it's fading up from, bl from blank, I don't want to see it. Um, and you can see that it is fading with channel one of pixel to AC. So if I come down here, Deer. Oh, sorry. That's pick, that's channel one. And we wanted to just turn on our bubble machine, not fade our bubble machine. Um, can do that guy. Turn on the bubble machine, and that's it. So um, if you want to just you know get rid of the um, get rid of the channel block entirely, totally fine. Um, these channels uh, are now. Uh, going to want to be just we'll just put them in um, directly and that's totally fine say that's channel one that's channel two that's channel three or whatever the channel might be um, and uh, these will behave um, just like um, if it was on a channel block so just a couple different options for you really simple um, just keep in mind again if you're doing anything that um, is like a motor or a fan uh, you just want to do on and off don't do fades um, that could damage the, uh, the part. Um, uh, but if you're just doing Christmas lights, uh, then yeah, you can do your uh, start and end intensities and be good to go. If you have any questions, let us know at info at experiencelights.com.